A crime alerted 11 and shocking new video. A woman ambushed outside a local gas station. The suspects shoving a gun in her face. Tonight, the victim is opening up to CBS 46. Jamie Kennedy is live tonight at the Chevron in Southwest Atlanta. And Jamie, certainly this was frightening for that young woman. Yeah, absolutely, Tracy. A very, very scary moment for this young lady over here at the Chevron behind me. You can see just how bright it is, yet that still didn't stop these violent attackers. It's video of a shocking attack. I honestly thought every second was the last. That has deeply scarred 23-year-old victim Janae Askew. Sometimes my skin just feels like there's always a gun pointing at me. Like, I just, it's been, it's been hard. Surveillance video caught the moment attackers waited for Janae, setting an ambush while she was inside a Chevron gas station. I come back out, I unlock my door, um, I get in my, I get in the driver's side. When I saw the gun, that's when everything hit me. And every second I thought I was going to get shot. Every second I thought it was going to be the last. That's, that's honestly how it felt. In the video, you see one of the young men shove a gun in Janae's face. Not long after, the second young man comes around to her door and violently throws her to the ground. And being that aggressive with me, and that's when I realized that they might be willing to hurt me. Janae says she ran inside for help and the suspects ran off, only taking two cell phones. Janae says she made eye contact with the men while walking inside the gas station and says that's when she feels they decided to target her. I couldn't believe that I almost lost my life to two phones. I don't feel comfortable anywhere knowing they're still out there. I feel like they've seen my face way too clearly and I don't feel like they feel like their job is done so I don't feel safe. Now, Janae does believe that they were after her car as well, but she did have her key fob around her neck, meaning they only got away with those two phones. She hopes someone out there can identify them to get these violent criminals off the street. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News. We do hope they are caught soon. Jamie, thank you.